I spoke with Salman al-Ansari about this. He's a Saudi writer and political commentator. I asked him about the reasoning behind this corruption crackdown. I think it's a very significant at the moment. Um, right now, the Saudi kingdom is moving into its uh, biggest transformation in its history. Uh, if we look at what the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has promised early this year, he said it clearly that nobody will be above the law when it comes to corruption or, or having bribes or giving bribes, etc. And right now it has been implemented and, and, and taken from words to actions. So that's how it is right now. And I think uh, the Saudi public is very supportive of all the actions of the custodian of the two holy mosques. King Salman, because uh, we all know how decisive he is and how he wants to uh, move the country from a level to another level, wants to have the Vision 2030 to be achieved, which is something that cannot happen without having such policies in place, such as anti-corruption policies, because to be honest, like Saudi, the Saudi public have been, for the long, for, for a long time, have been fed up with the, with the, with the, with the losses that their economy had through the corruptions and through the, the, the secret deals, etc. And right now, Mohammed bin Salman is combating all those things with the support of his uh, uh, father, King Salman. How far does it go? How long does it last? And, and what does it mean long term? It means a lot. Saudi cannot, vision, cannot achieve its vision 2030. It's a very ambitious vision. It cannot achieve it without having such policies. Because if you look at Saudi Arabia right now, it's having this very big momentum in restructuring its institutions, in having a lot of social reforms, economic reforms, legal reforms, political reforms. All these things have been taking place uh, very rapidly during the last uh, two and a half uh, years, which is something very promising. So I think Saudi Arabia is in the right direction. Yes, we will face a lot of challenges, that's for sure. There will be a lot of challenges, economic challenges. Uh, the idea of economic diversification is not an easy task, but since we can have such policies in place, we will definitely get to be in a position where we function as a normal country that has uh, policies in place, that has uh, uh, its plans to be clear and with complete transparency and complete accountability. Because if we look at the Vision 2030, it's a very ambitious plan, as I said, and it's all about uh, cultivating uh, the youth power in Saudi Arabia, because if we look at the Saudi population, 70% of the Saudi population are under the age of 70, uh, sorry, are under the age of 30 years old, and 52% of the Saudi population is under the age of 25 years old. So we kind of have this kind of uh, new identity between the government, where the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is only 32 years old, and this kind of identity between the government and its people is, is something uh, very remarkable. And I think uh, history will remember that such decisions that have been taken are the right decisions and the right ingredients for the good and prosperous future for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia.